God, doesn't that look fucking cool? The fist casting a shadow? Oh. You're damn right I might come this way. I like to come multiple ways. You know, multiple places. Ideally in the same session. That doesn't always happen, though. Sometimes I get a bit too tired. No, I can't help it. I'm a busy guy. I do a lot of stuff throughout the day, and then when it comes time to, you know, finish up, sometimes I'm just, you know, finished after the first time. Yeah? If I want to make it extra special, I'll make sure to relax throughout the day so that I have enough energy to go again, but it's just, uh, I don't know. It's not always a guarantee. Depends upon... Depends upon how big the first finish is, you know? Ah, oh, fuck! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Fuck! Ah, oh, Panicked. Panicked! Didn't check my corners! Feel like such a fucking moron! Ah, oh, gotta clear the corners! You fucking idiot! You idiot, Matthew! You're such an idiot! You're such a failure! No wonder nobody loves you! Ha 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 ha! <laughs> Quick save after that, you know? Pull out my fucking gun. Fuck. Only after dinner. That's the deal. If you want some of this, you gotta give me some food first. There's fire, everybody! Oh, somebody better call the firefighters! Gotta go bring over the fire engines! Oh, I thought that guy died. Gotta put out the fire with the fire engines and the firefighters. Better break open the fire hydrant. Do you have a combination wench? You don't? Well, I guess we're just gonna have to hit it with my car. Yay, fire. Firefighters. You know what they say. Sometimes it's best to fight fire with fire. And that's what's going on right now. See? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. I have killed so many people today. Good thing they're faceless clones that don't have feelings and don't have fear. What's that? They're calling out in fear? No, they're not. Uh, that's just their pre-programmed screams of death, you know? They're death rattles that are pre pre baked into their conscience for some reason. They're definitely not. They definitely don't have their own thoughts and feelings. Fuck. Damn it. There are people who still think that about animals. You know? And this, I don't get it. I don't get it. I think. Well, no, I kind of do get it. And I think it's because they want to be able to justify in their minds that they eat meat. And because they eat meat, they are eating living, breathing animals and that may have conscience and may have thoughts and feelings. I, I'm not a bleeding heart like vegan. In fact, I, I don't like veganism that much as a concept. Uh, not for any moral reasons, it's just I don't, I, I, I don't think it's immoral to eat animals and to use animal products. But I also don't have that cognitive dissonance of like, oh, animals don't have feelings. They clearly do. Like, animals as uh, underdeveloped as bees have been shown to play with things for no reason other than to have fun, you know? They express themselves. And, you know, Pets express themselves definitely, for sure, for sure, and I I do think that, um, I do think that, uh, livestock and meat animals do as well. And who's to say things like fish don't have emotions and things like that? They just can't express it in a way that we can recognize. 
And so, to me, the way that I view it is I understand that I am eating a living thing, something had to die to feed me, and that something needs to be treated with dignity, it needs to be treated well throughout its life, you know, let it live a comfortable life as much as possible, um, let it live a full life as much as possible, um, you know, like, I don't, I don't like eating veal, I don't like eating, um... I don't like eating suckling pig. I don't like eating foie gras, because I, I I view those practices that goes into the making of those you know of that meat as unethical. Uh, foie gras they force feed the ducks bread, like they they sh they like force feed it through like tubes that they shove down their throats, and I just like, n no. And then veal and suckling pig are baby animals, and no, like, th th there's no practical reason to, to eat a baby animal. I don't think it tastes better. I've had veal when I was younger, and I didn't taste a fucking difference. Um, and so it's like, uh, to me, it's like, it, 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 practically it's much better to let them grow up and live a full life uh, because one, you'll get more food out of it, and then ethically it's better because it's a living thing and it deserves to live it deserves to live a life of some kind, and if they're gonna die at the end, at least let them be comfortable. Like, fuck. There we go. And like, I can understand being vegan. I can understand the want to be vegan. I understand, you know, the ethical reasons, the, uh, particularly in regards to uh, the damage that um, large scale, large scale farming and uh, factory farming has on, does the damage that it does to the environment that they're in. Like, um, especially like to feed livestock, the amount of trees that get cleared to make new farms uh, to kill livestock and it's uh, uh, to uh, to raise livestock to be you know eaten and the thing about that is, is if the factory factory farms are in, at least in my opinion largely unnecessary especially in a country in the United States that has so much free land that is available that could be used but instead they're building them in other countries and importing the meat. And those countries don't have the same health laws, they don't have the same ethical laws, it's just, ugh. Ugh, I don't like it. I don't like it. And a big chunk of American food is produced within the United States, and, and there's just not a lot of good enforcement of the existing laws that already exist in regards to the ethics and the ethical treatment of livestock. Um, and I think, I think, you know, if we decentralize... I think if we de largely decentralize the food industry, particularly the meat industry, it would be a good thing. How the fuck was he still alive? Holy shit. Fuck! By the way, if anybody's gonna comment, you know, about the um ethical implication like the ethical the better ethics of veganism i just i don't agree i don't agree i don't think it's unethical to kill animals i don't think it's unethical to use animals uh what's it called i just just like i don't think it's unethical to own pets i don't think it's unethical to um you know it is it's just it's it is what it is to i view like to me uh What's it called? To me, it's it. To me, it's just I view animals and plants very similarly. They're both living. They both, and so it's like you're you're killing something in order to eat it. You do the same thing with plants. Um, what's it? What's it called? Large scale vegetable production is still also bad for the environment. Not not nearly as bad as large scale meat production. Like don't, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to say that they're the same. It's just. You know, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't view it as more ethical. The main ethical argument for veganism is doing less harm. So, yes, like, I get that. You are doing less harm. 
Um, it's just that I think that we could also do that while eating meat, and I think that meat is a necessary part of the human diet. A lot of people will argue that, um, you know, oh, all you need is your vitamins and your minerals, um, but uh, the science behind that is still largely undecided at this point, and uh, the um, all of the all of this uh, science indicates that whole foods are better than pr are better for you than uh, than processed foods and the thing and so it's like it's better for you to get your protein um, from natural sources and animal protein especially if you want a certain level of health and fitness is the best way to get your protein you can make up for it like don't get me wrong you can be very healthy and you can be very strong and get all plant-based protein it's just gonna be harder uh, harder to do and I just you know so it's to me I don't think I don't think I personally don't think uh, making your life harder on purpose uh, makes you more ethical, you know? I think it just... I just don't... I just don't agree. Um, I have nothing... I have... Uh, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? I have nothing against, like, vegans, you know? People who choose to be vegan. I have nothing against them as long as you don't prophetize about it. I just think that veganis veganism itself is flawed. It's the same thing that I view with, like, religion, you know? I'm not gonna get mad at religious people uh, for believing in religion. I just think that most religions are flawed. You know? They're almost all of them, quite frankly. Oy, oy, oy. Actually, no, all of them. All of them. Can't think- uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, let's see if I can get past this part. Fire and rescue's giving up on Jankowski. I'm hoping it just banged his head really hard and he's wandering around the harbor with amnesia. Ugh. That would be the best case scenario. That's for sure. I remember this. I remember really struggling with this part on the last time I played through the game. Testing mods. All you have to do is just look at the environment and understand why. See how they're able to hit me with pinpoint accuracy even though they're firing their machine guns one-handed behind them? Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Nope, that's not what I wanted to hit. Panic there. Ah, fuck! That's a lot of them. Ah! Ah, oh, fuck! Should've checked the magazine! Fuck, 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 fuck! Damn it! Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, no, I'm... I struggle with this part. Uh, that was me pulling out my shotgun! <laughs> fuck. Fuck! I'm running over my fucking headphone cable. Uh, trying to get comfortable. There we go. There we go. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Ah, oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. I didn't want to race the grenade, so I just thought, why not? I certainly hope so. It was pretty loud. He spotted me. How do you know my name is Spot? <laughs> yeah, there's a reason why camping is so fucking effective.
Oh my god. Fuck. Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Just decimated his dick there. All right, all right. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Get that! I want to get that upgrade! Oh, I can go up here. Nice. Always check your elevation. Check your corners. Did I walk up the... Okay. <laughs> Just gotta be careful. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give give those mines. Those mines are mine. <laughs> yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I wish those healed me too. That would have been nice. That would have been kind of the game to do that for me. But no, 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 no. Game wants me to have a challenge, I guess. Yeah, well, you know. You can challenge D's nuts. Am I right? Am I right, guys? Good. How are you holding up, Mr. Bishop? Looking forward to getting the hell out oh. of here. Oh, yeah. Gotta be careful. Don't want to fall. Ah! That actually does kind of freak me out a, a bit. Again, the heights thing, you know? Just... Yeah, the heights thing. All right. Fear operative... Blah. Fear operative liberated a hostage, Aldous Bishop, who claimed that he was interrogated about Harlan Wade, a senior Armacan researcher. Wade's whereabouts are unknown. Bishop also reported that he is a colleague of Wade's daughter, Alice. It is assumed that she will have been targeted by replica forces and may already be a prisoner. SVOD D operative Douglas Holiday is escorting Bishop to the roof for immediate evac. Fear technical officer is continuing forensic breakdown of SVOD massacre site, and there are indicators that many Armacan employees were executed. Executed. Yeah, probably the pile of bodies in the elevator shaft. Fear combat operative will rendezvous with Holiday at the helicopter landing zone, HLZ. Oh, I thought HLZ meant hot landing zone. You know, because that's where all the babes are. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This is the wrong weapon to use here. <laughs> I did not like my strategy there, so I'm going to switch weapons. I'm going to stay in cover here. How did that not kill him? You need backup! What, what you really need is two backup! You know, back the fuck up, motherfucker! Oh, fuck. I don't know if that did damage or not. I'm just not paying attention to my health points. Or my armor points. I mean, I kind of am, just not as much as I should be. I think. Fuck! Oh, he's got a shotgun. Don't let him get close. Oh, fuck. Oh, cool. Did you see him dodge my shit? What the hell? I am gonna probably come back for the rifle. I just wanna be able to use the bull pop sniper rifle for a little, burst fire bull pop sniper rifle for a little bit. I wish more guns were bull pop. I love bull pops. I think they're so fucking cool. I really want to get a fucking, uh, what's it called? 
an AUG. That would be nice. I'd like to have an AUG. That's my, like, dream rifle right there. For those of you who are unaware, a bullpup is a gun where the magazine, the place where all the bullets are, are behind the uh, trigger, or behind the um, the grip. Uh, and what that allows for is to have a, a shorter overall gun length, but have the same length barrel, which means that you can use it in both close quarters and in long range combat. Uh, some believe it is the future of weapons. Uh, I can understand those that don't believe that, because anytime we introduce new military weapons, they always go back to some kind of AR variant. So, just because, oh, it's what's more familiar, as if we can't teach people how to use new guns or something. Um... There are also complaints about bullpups having, like, squishy triggers and shit, which is understandable. They have a much heavier trigger pull than your typical AR-style gun. Um, I shouldn't even say AR-style because there's also AK and the FAL, which aren't AR, but whatever. It doesn't matter. What I'm trying to say is the standard magazine forward design uh, has been the standard for a long time and is probably not going to change in the military. Um... At least not for a very long time, considering that we just adopted a bunch of new rifles and they're all magazine forward. Uh, I've actually run out of time. So tackling this section, we'll have to wait until next time. So, you know, that's what it was, homies. Mick Pants is over and out of this hizzy. Bye-bye, everybody.